Why? Because without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 22, without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. That's why Jesus had to shed his blood at the cross so that you and me can be saved. You can be made a new creature because the blood is where the life is. The Bible says in the book of Leviticus 17 verse 11, the life of the flesh is in the blood and I've given you the blood upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that atones for the soul. My friends, all you need to do is just believe. And if you're still out there thinking that you still have much time, look at the world today. Look at how things are like today. And tell me for sure if we still have much more time. We don't have time. Look at the world from the year 2019. It's been chaos all through. Things have really been so bad. And then people still don't believe that Jesus is coming soon. For sure the time of judgment is coming. The time of judgment is coming upon the whole world. And he shall judge and he shall recompense for everything which has been done by the people of the world. So friends, what I want to tell you is today that you believe. You need to believe and put your faith where it's supposed to be. In the finished work of Christ at the cross. That is all that you need to do. Jesus shed his blood for you. Many keep on saying that Jesus is not God. Others, they keep on saying, what does it matter to me? But I can tell you for sure, just like a car is made for fuel, we are made for God. There is nothing else which can satisfy man except God himself. There is nothing else which can satisfy man except the goodness of God. That's why people are looking for money, but they will never be satisfied. That's why people are looking for pleasure, but they will never be satisfied. Because just like a car is made for fuel, we are made for God. And he wants us to come back to him. He wants us to come back to him. And only when you believe, then you shall be saved. This is the message that I'm giving you today. That you need to do nothing else but just believe. Just put your faith in the finished work of Christ on the cross. Many people keep on wondering and asking, that can Jesus still save me? I'm beyond repair. My friends, I tell you, Jesus said that John the Baptist came, he preached, but then the Pharisees did not hear him. But the prostitutes and tax collectors were able to hear this good news and they were saved. My friends, let me tell you, it doesn't matter what you've done. All that you need to do is believe the gospel and you shall be saved. You and your family. The Bible says you shall be saved if only you believe. Friends, there is nothing new under the sun. What people are doing right now is exactly what was being done back in those days. And people are still sleeping, just like they were sleeping in the days of Noah. The days of Noah, people were just eating and drinking and giving in marriage, and others being married. Let me tell you, my friends, and Noah was crying every day and saying, please, these are the days that were spoken of. These are the days that judgment is coming. But nobody wanted to hear about this judgment. My friends, God doesn't want you to be judged. He has given his own side. He has given himself. And he has said there is a consolation for this judgment. Because the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 6 verse 23. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. The gift of life is eternal life. The gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. My friends, you need to believe. You need to believe. You need to believe. 